Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snake Beater and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to find the perfect ALC settings for you in Apex Legends Season 15. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment down below and please subscribe to the notification so that we know missing out below. But without further ado, let's get into it. So Dead Zone is what's going to control our stick drift. Now everyone has newer controllers, people have older controllers. Basically, turn it all the way down. Notice how strong your stick drift is. Hold, push it in a few little bit different directions. Go, right, okay, it's quite strong. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to just turn it up. Boom, no longer got stick drift. Perfect. Now you're just gonna say, just keep turning it up until you notice the stick drift is gone. Personally, I would only turn it up until you notice the stick drift is gone. You don't really need it too much higher. You can have it higher if you feel like maybe you've got a very twitchy farm and you feel like actually I sometimes react a little bit too soon, then that way it would it would delay it slightly. But I find that if you say you have it too low, it might feel a little bit too twitchy. And if you have it too high, it feels too dull. So have it on a say where you just get rid of the stick drift so it should kick in as soon as you actually put enough pressure on that analog stick out of threshold no i've never changed this in my life but i will go through it because you might turn around to me and say actually i want to change this but out of threshold is how your controller interprets max input on your right stick a higher out of threshold makes it hit the max input sooner so if we turn this up higher theoretically we will hit our max input sooner on that right stick if we turn it all the way down we should hit our max input a little bit less. I notice not much of a difference when I'm doing it. I say, I say, I have a little look around. I go, okay, yeah, that feels pretty, pretty fast. And then if I turn it all the way up, you see the circle is now even smaller. So then that should hit the max. But it's, it does feel a little faster. I'll give it to be fair. It feels a little faster, but it's not enough for me to warrant changing it. So I'm going to keep it on one. But you might turn around and say to me, actually, do you know what, Snake? I want to turn it up a bit. Do it. Do it, lad. Um, okay, next up we've got response curve. Okay, this is going to be uh, at the response curve is at the speed at which the game registers your reticle in response to when you move the analog stick um, and how long you keep it in that position. Higher feels dull, lower can feel twitchy. Okay, so this one, if you have it, okay, quite high. Say we have it like, I have always volume on four. Now, when I'm aiming... It means it's it doesn't I, I can't move the analog stick down quite as quick as I used to. It's, there, it's all about holding the analog stick in position. So you know it's there. I, I, I am trying to pull it down right now. I'm trying. So there I'm to myself, right, that's too dull. That's way too dull. I need to change this. Let me go let me go maybe let me go ten. So we go with for ten. How did that feel? Did that feel like you just couldn't get your analog stick down hard enough? Did that feel like maybe you couldn't hold it in position to hold the recoil? Get it down a little bit. Maybe I put it on zero. Oh, okay. That was freaking way too much. Let's turn it up. So you're all about noticing your recoil here, okay? And then boom, it's perfect. Oh, that was sexy, that was. So literally, okay, just keep turning it up and down and just see how it feels as you're holding that right analog stick on that target okay can you hold the recoil don't have any attachments bear that in mind guys okay i don't want to see you rocking a fully stacked r301 okay just have a certain amount of 301 there and just see how it feels there as you can see there i didn't really do a lot there and that felt really nice say so, play around with the response practice that recoil see how it feels next up we've got per optic settings now you could turn this on you could change all these depending on how you want you've got all these lovely sights here have a play. If you want to change one, go for it. Personally, I wouldn't even bother changing them. But you might turn around to me and say, actually, Snake, I find that the 2 to 4 is too slow. Fair enough. Okay. Turn it up then. Go on there. Boom. Turn it up a bit. But personally, I don't really feel the need to. I feel like it messes with my sense. Next up, we've got uh, your pitch speed. I'm sorry about all the catalytic noise. I'm getting really pissed off with them. Stop playing her. Uh, right, we've got <laughs> yawn speed. Now, this is a simple one. Literally, all I want you to do is just look left to right. Does that feel too fast? Now, don't just do it like a slow pace. Do it full speed. Does that feel too fast? If that feels too fast, turn it down. Does that feel too slow? Turn it up. Okay, it's all about just looking left and right. Think to yourself, right, if there was a guy here we should and I'm looking area. over here, would I get myself over there in time? Would I overshoot shoot it? Obviously, there'll be times where, like you say, like there, you see I'm overshooting it. But I'm getting near enough there, so then boom, I can zoom in. Boom, zoom in. Boom, zoom in. Another way you can practice, go single fire. 
Are you overshooting it? Are you holding it in time? See how I get this on. Because I say, this is, this yawn is all about, say, how quickly you'll react. So if you're like, say, you're looking around or you're just like, say, trying to get to a target. Obviously, it'll automatically slow down a little bit, though, as soon as you obviously go into scope. But give that a try. Left to right, and then maybe start seeing how you feel we're looking left to right to targets. Next up, we've got pitch speed. This is how quick we look up and down. Woohoo. Now, this one's a little bit, obviously, this one you just say you're just going to have to work out. Normally, it's a little bit lower. But you, as you can tell, it's not a massive amount of recoil problems. So it's not like, oh, okay, I need to hold down the analog stick faster or whatnot. You, just literally, I personally would say, once again, target, Let's check this target, target, hit target. So just try and get, get used to just moving it around. Look at it up, down. You don't have to do a hit fight, by the way. I'm just kind of like trying to give you an idea of why, how to work out your pitch by literally just looking up and right, up and down. Because let's face it, you're not going to be hit firing at that distance with up and down okay you are more or less just trying to think how can i get to my enemy if they're going up a zip line you know you're just trying to get your reticle close enough so then you can avs then after that you got turning extra yawn um this is how um when your stick hits max input you can get it to turn up quicker now if you wanted to you can have it higher but that means now if i was to like push down on it i could do a 360 quicker so i could go like, oh someone's behind me oh someone's behind me so if you like that, you're like, oh, I like the idea that if I'm just like control and then I want to do a 360, it will speed up. Turn that up. If you like me, I don't really see the point. Uh, you can have that turned down because I already have quite a high yawn pitch speed. But people that have a lower yawn pitch speed might find that very helpful. Now, once again, we've got the same here, extra pitch. So this is how quickly we can look up if we hit the full, the, uh, the analog stick to the top. Now, they even recommend you don't have a lot on this. But if, say, for example, you did, say, for example, you're just looking out and you want, oh, boom. Personally, I think that's way too fast for anybody anyway. But if you wanted to have a little bit extra pitch, that's how you'd work it out. You just literally look up and down, up and down. See how that feels? If you don't like it, turn it off. Now, these two are a lot more help, okay? These help you if you are going to start using your extra pitch, extra yawn. Because the ramp up time will uh, basically it will uh, how long it takes for extra yawn and pitch to hit full speed so if we have this higher it will have 52 percent and then i have that on full they basically it takes a little bit longer for me to fu fully hit that full speed okay now that kind of defeats the object because if you were like i want to do a real quick 360 you probably wouldn't even want any ramp up time because you want to hit that 360 straight away don't you so you might find that you don't want that but you might find that the delay is the one that would be more helpful because this is how long it takes for it to kick in so say for example i do a turn there so you see yeah it's not very fast but if i hold it down for a bit longer woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, we go in let's watch it again say look it's not too fast and then it goes not too fast and then it goes not too fast and then it goes so i'm making people feel dizzy it will just add in that delay. So if you find that you're in that position where you're turning and then you're like, oh, I need to quickly um, turn around, but maybe I don't know if I want to, add some delay because it really does help. And then, guys, we're going on to the ADS yawn speed, okay? So this is the one where when you're looking down the site, okay, how quickly you move left to right. So you see here. Just literally how quickly I move left to right. So maybe you want to focus just on these top targets, not worrying about the pitch speed. Just go single fire, how it feels, move it left to right. Because this will only focus on the yawn speed, okay? Don't worry about going up and down. Don't go full auto. This is literally just the tracking. So just literally just focus on those targets. Now, obviously, now when we go to ADS pitch speed, okay, we are going to be looking but more like recoil control. Now, of course, we can still have a little look up and down like this. How does that feel? But most importantly, we're going to be looking at the target, okay? Now, when we're aiming for the target, okay, it depends what sight you use, because sight-wise, this really does help. But if we have this too low, we'll find that the recoil is pinging up too high. 
Okay, so if you feel like you're overshooting, you're going too high, then you need to turn it up. If you feel like when you're shooting, you're going too low, like that, it's too high. You want to find that middle ground where you're hitting as much as possible. Now, once again, guys, okay, I'm not expecting you here to come over here and go, ah, oh, you know what, I just, I just banged out like over 100 damage on that, uh, or like, I need to try and get over 300, I need to be the next Smeggy Turk, okay, it's not the case at all, okay, because it's, it's all down to sight, so you see there, I'm just using a HGO, if as soon as I go to a bruiser, you know, it's going to be a different map, it all kind of depends on the sight you're using, have a little practice with different sights, but I overdid that, see how it feels, but focus Let's on a back target, and say, turn up and down that pitch. Um, pitch speed, ADS pitch speed. Now, of course, after that, we're now going to be looking at these two. ADS extra yawn, ADS extra pitch. Now, as you know, these are obviously what happens when the analog stick hits the full extension. Okay? Now, I have 100 on both of mine because what I found was the sense I have is really nice. And it moves very nicely when I'm not hitting full extension. So that's not a problem. But as soon as I hit full extension, maybe I'm like, right, I want to get, like, let's turn it down so I can show you. So I was like, okay, I want to get from here, and I want to get to that target. Look that how much here. slower that is. Very slow. So all of a sudden, yeah, I might be maybe a little bit more accurate, but God, that feels so slow. So what I've done, guys, is I've turned up all of these for 100 each. So now, when I'm doing this, as long as I don't hit full extension, see how I'm still in control? But as soon as I go from this target to, to this target, I can get there so much quicker. But then I can also go back to not holding down the analog stick to the full extension, and I'm back in control. He's nice and chilled. So what you want to do is say, is turn up and down the extra pitch and yawn. If you want to get involved in these, and just literally see if it feels too fast and whatnot. If it feels like, oh, do you know what? That feels like a sense I like. But also, the, the ADS yawn and pitch also feel nice when they're not in full extension. Then you're looking good. You're looking good. Now, this is the bit that also really helps, is the ramp up time. So, obviously, this is what's going to happen, how long it takes for it to hit full strength. Okay, so I have it on 10%. Not a huge amount, but it does give me just that little bit more control if I was like, right... It's going to kick up there, and it's going to kick me across. Boom. You might turn around and say, actually, I want a little bit more. Let me put maybe up to 46. So you see, it just takes a little bit longer for it to pick up the speed. So if you want to have that extra pitch in yawn, which I really do recommend, I would say have a play with the um, ramp up time as well. But if you don't like the idea of it just taking so long to hit actually that full speed, okay, you don't like the build up, you can always go for delay. So this is obviously going to delay until it hits full extension. So once again, look, see how slow it is? And then look, as soon as I hold it down for a little bit longer, it pings off. Hold it down for a bit longer, it pings off. Now, I wouldn't recommend having it that high because if you're trying to track someone, say they've just run yeah, off, it's going to take you a while to catch up with them. But that's another way of adding pitch speed, extra pitch and extra yawn to your settings so that you can still have these low ADS speeds, but also still be able to track an Octane or a Legend that's moving fast. Because it really does help wanting to have low yawn and pitch speed. But if you don't have a bit of extra yawn and extra pitch, I find you're going to struggle tracking people. So I highly recommend giving them to a try, turning them up and down, seeing, right, that looks nice. Now, what do I need to add on? so that I feel in control when I swap from yawn, uh, ADS yawn, here. to ADS extra yawn. Find one that you find that you're in control of, and you're good. And then last things you'll see, we got the uh, target compensation, have this on anyway, guys, uh, on, sorry. Um, unless you are um, really wanting to have no aim assist, up to you. Um, you could also have melee compensation, um, have this on, this means it's your aim assist for punching people and then lastly of course you've got your target compensation which if you're going to play some pc lobbies i'd personally would start practicing on pc 
um, ALGs and things like that. But default is the way for kind of tutorial players. That is everything, guys. I really hope that helps. I say give them a try. I hope I've explained them so well that you actually understand what I'm saying. Because I say I know it's not easy. ALCs are not easy. But if you want to spend some time actually getting used to them and getting a feel for them, it's definitely the way I like to go because I find it's really helped my game. But yeah, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.